Hi everybody, it's Julie. We are working with our paper pads. So I do have the two ugly papers that we covered last week. And then I have several other um, papers. This one's from the cooking, the baking one. And then these are from Gather. And we are gonna go ahead and do some of the folding with these to be inside the journals. So um, I want some pockets, but I don't need this to be quite 12 inches. So I am gonna go ahead and um, let's cut it down to to 10 okay so that will give me that strip okay now um, I'm gonna mark this one at 9 inches okay so marking it at 9 so a great way to use your papers is in your journals okay so I've got that one marked and this one, I'm going to do it the same way. We'll take the two inches off the side. Okay, so that will give us that. Then we'll turn it this way. Mark it at nine inches because my journal is nine inches tall. So this is where I will do my fold. Do the same thing here. Okay, there we go. And the same with this one. Okay, so that gives me four. What do I have left? I have the pretty green, or green, holy moly. Um, okay, then I'm thinking that I want to go ahead and cut this. We need one more, so. We'll go ahead and cut that. We're marking this one at nine inches. Okay, so that gives me those. And then I can go ahead and do this one also. Okay, now this is going to go in um, on the inside cover of the journal. I think that this will be a good, a good fit for the inside. So um, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and mark this, put it in and mark it. And it's one-sided, so we'll mark it there. And we'll mark it here. Okay. And we'll go ahead and cut this. So putting it on the mark. So this is for the inside cover of my hardcover journal. Okay. So there's that. And then we also marked it right there. there okay so that's one inside cover I'll show you like like that and it will just fit right in there beautifully okay and now we need and then we'll have this that we can use because the one thing we are going to need um, 
journal pages or journal like tags and things so um, okay now we're gonna come down here and mark it here okay make sure yep we're good and then come up here and mark it up here okay the old pinching <laughs> Okay, close it. Okay, so that will be for the inside back. Now, I need some, I want a pocket for the inside. And, you know, naturally, I love that. But I just, I, I don't think I'm going to, I don't think I'm going to use that. Um, let's see, we could, okay, this would be kind of cool, actually. So I have this music right here. And so what I can do with this is go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and we've got that right there. I'm gonna mark this a little bit outside of it. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna mark this and this is where we are going to fold. Okay, so we're gonna fold it right there. So we can go ahead and cut it just a little, you know, half an inch longer than what that where the fold is to be, okay? And I think I wanna do, um, for the back, so this'll be the front pocket. For the back pocket, um, we can do the same thing. We'll do the same thing for the back pocket, okay? So that's going to give us an extra piece there. And so actually this is the back pocket, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Um, so I, like I said, I want the, I want the, the music there. So we'll go ahead and fold that there. And fold that there and it can be just a little bit on the outside of that because that'll give you a little more room inside the pocket to put things okay so I'm gonna start by folding the bottom So that's going to be my bottom. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and fold in from this side. Okay. You can use a bone folder. That would a uh, bone folder and a scoring board would be really really the smart way to do this. Okay, so there's that. So that is going to fold around there. Okay. So, go ahead and get it started. You want it to be straight up there. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to come into that corner at an angle. Just like you see on all the digitals and everything that have the little pockets and the dies, the templates, we're going to come in at an angle and I don't cut straight across, I cut in and then pull my corner. That's, 
okay? And then we can go ahead and put this on here. If you had a uh, double-sided paper, you could just go ahead and flip the pocket up. And that's what I would do if I had double-sided paper, but I don't. I'm using this Maggie Holmes Gather paper pad and the piece, the extra pieces from some of the other paper pads that I've been using this year, and they are not double-sided. The wind is blowing. There are some rain clouds coming this way. We are not supposed to have rain. I don't know. My husband has has plans for stuff tonight that to be outside. So hopefully the okay. So that is going to be my inside pocket. Okay, and this is for my um, March Stash Buster Junk Journal Challenge journal, the Yaya -Ya Journal. Okay, and since it is going to attach itself to fabric, I'm going to use Fabric Tech. Okay, I'm excited to have the cover almost done because I there's new digital kits that I want to play with and of course I'm I'm loving the Yaya -Ya kit I, I think it's really really pretty okay here we go so speaking of new kits we do have the swing into spring it was added to the Etsy shop this week. It is, it features um, people on swings, antique images of people on swings. And, um, and then the beautiful flowers also. And that one um, matches the seven days of spring kit that I made for the collab with Kara Brandon. Okay, so there we go. Whoop. So, and I would do, I'm going to do the same thing for the back piece, okay? You don't have to, don't have to watch me do that. I'm going to go ahead and put those two pieces right here in the back. And we could put one of these down the middle um, also as another way of using those up. But I really like the way this is turning out. Um, you see, I did add the um, ties here, so I want to make sure that that is is um, staying down really well. And that's why I use, another reason to use the fabric tack is you have immediate immediate hold. Okay, so I will come back and do that. But that is a way to use up some of your paper pad. And now we're going to go ahead and fold these pieces and get them ready for the journal. So I go ahead, I'm going to fold it up. I'm going to line it up very carefully here and push it out. Okay. And then pull out a bone, a bone folder. Sure. There, there's one. Okay. And that's going to give us a better hold. And then I'm going to pull this down. You guys have seen me do this before. Um, this has made all the difference in um, how, how bulky things are in my journals. This, this has given me more room. Okay, so again, bone folder. Then go ahead and flip it back up and what we're going to do here is we're going to come in and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give this a little snip. You'll see it's kind of in a widow's peak <laughs> little shape there. See this little shape and there we have my pages. Now, we can go ahead and while we're here, just go ahead and close them up. Okay. 
right? So just close them up and that way they are done and ready. Okay. And remember my journal is nine inches tall. So hopefully that one was nine inches. If not, I can cut it. But um, that is what I'm going to do for those. And they can go in the journal either in that direction or in this direction. And um, so much, so much better. I'm going to show you real quick um, what it would look like. Okay, so we have this one here. I love this paper. It was one of my favorite papers in the paper pad. I used it in some on something else. Okay, so the, the other way is to go ahead and do it like this. And you get the double bulk down here. Okay, and you guys, every time I add geez, just that little bit and you're stacking and stacking and stacking it on top of each other, um, that is... That is a lot of bulk, okay? So, let me show you. We'll go ahead and use the bone folder. Okay? I don't know if you can, really, you can't really tell. But it, it you can feel it. <laughs> you can feel it. This clothes, clothes is flush. This has a buckle to it. So, and that was the other thing is things would be buckled when I would go to, um, to put the journal together. So, so you just want that little, you're just basically cutting the spine out of that, that part. Okay. Okay, so that is how we're going to do those pages. I have a three um, signature journal, so I am, and these are, they're just, what, five inches wide? I didn't go with the six inches, so that, because I already have. Um, papers that are the full six inches okay okay so these ones are already ready so I would continue and do the rest of these also okay so that I have those ready and then um, from this okay we're gonna have to be very careful here cutting it I'm going to go ahead and just cut this the size that my paper is supposed to be, which is um, nine inches. Okay, I'm going to cut this piece off. Okay, wish me luck here because it's tissue. I, I almost think it would be better just to like sc almost score it. Oh, by the way, I scorched the back with the iron. So it has a, it, it, it looks, I'm just doing a light cut here, you guys. I'm going to cut it with the scissors. Okay. Now I could go ahead and fold this one up also, but I'm going to cut it with the scissors. Because I'm worried about cutting through um, the tissue. It looks, it feels like it would have been fine, but... I am still, I'm afraid. Okay, so what we can do with this, okay, so now I have this that I can use for a tag or whatever. And this, I can go ahead and fold it over. Be real careful. And then I can go ahead and fold these in. Okay, 
an inch or so, an inch to an inch and a half. And these are going to give me, um, this one will have two little border tucks, okay? Okay, so two little border tucks. And to just go ahead and finish those, go ahead and give them their glue. Have them, have them be ready. Okay. So this um, paper here that I'm using, it was the peach paper that had the little like bow ties and then I added, I put the tissue paper over the top of it. Okay. Okay. Where did I put the other ones? I don't know. <laughs> oh, right here. Okay, so the other two that are ready are right there. And then I have, I have this one. And I, I love this. Okay, so what we're going to do with this one is we are going to go ahead and we'll see how it does. Okay. I want the napkin to be, okay, so changing papers here, so let's see how we do. Oh, I don't like that. Okay. Now, darn. So we're going to go do it like we did the other one and we'll come back and it's okay can all be fixed that's one of the cool things about junk journals or when you're crafting your own stuff everything everything is fixable okay so there I've gone ahead and made my line so I know where to cut Again, um, this side is also scorched. Okay. Okay, so I am going to make two pages out of this. This up here um, did not get trimmed. So I'm just going to come along and trim it down. So for this one, I am going to fold it here. I'm just going to fold it on those natural fold places, okay? And okay, so there's a natural fold, and let's make sure that this is going to be wide enough that's not a page from this is a page from the journal that I'm using right now so yeah okay so we'll go ahead and put this right on that natural fold And what we'll get here is um, either, depending on which way we put this in the journal, we'll either have a page 
with a flip out here or I will probably put it in this way because I really like that and I want that to I want to see that so I'll want that to be on the the right side okay so flip out here and this is where it will um, sit in the journal probably okay so we have that one then we can do the same thing with this one come in and let's make sure that yeah we're fine okay go ahead and okay and again this was from the ugly paper video last um, last Sunday stash buster Sunday okay and I, I like the way this this edge looks here and so I'm gonna let it come over onto this page so that's where our flap is going to be this time this did not get put down all the way so I'm just gonna cut it off I don't want to mess with any glue right now okay and these flip places are a perfect place for a flip-flop and um, then these other places could get a pocket added to it okay so we could put a out of pocket here um, oh that's the one I wanted to use for the, the inside cover <laughs> like to have um, different sized papers in the journal. I think it makes it really um, gives it interest. Okay, so here we go. We're going to go along there, along there. And then I am going to well I was going to put, put the little hole. I'll have to do that later. Okay, but that's going to give us a little pocket. Okay. And this will go in the journal like this, with this being where the signature is. This will could be a flip-flop. Okay. And then we can add like one of our pockets or something that we've made. Um, can go on top of this page here perfectly okay so let's go ahead and clean that up so that now we've used our um, our ugly papers from last week so that's cool um, I do want to fix this okay I had a little compromise here. A little tissue paper compromise. Okay. Okay, so we we will have these will be um ready for the journal. So and we'll have six of them, two of them for each of the signatures. And then we have this one for one signature. And we have one of these for each of the other two signatures, which I think is going to be really cool. Now, um, 
I'm looking at, I'm like going, you know what I could have done? I could have done a double pocket inside there, but I can save this and it can go on, um, on another, you know, well, well, let's go ahead and, because one of the things that we did in, let's do it on one of the black and white ones. No, oh, let's do it on this flowery one. Okay, so here's this one. Go ahead, find the, this is where it is measured to, to go, um, to fold up. Go ahead and push it out. Okay, do all the stuff like we did before. Fold it, fold it over. If you don't need more pockets, you can also, you can cut off where that, where I folded and added the pocket and you'd have another beautiful tag as well okay but i'm going to do this for each each one of those and then i'm going to go ahead and just like we did in the beginning we're going to cut the the little widow's peak out of the center here make sure that you've um, cut out all of the fold that's what you're doing is you're just cutting the fold out of the center here okay you see I missed it was a little off center and I had missed some so there we go then we're gonna go ahead and this time we are gonna add this piece in across okay I want to clean up the edge the edge and go ahead put this in come over here I'm gonna fold it right there so find my folding spot line it up fold it Come over, cut this off because that's going to give me another little tiny journaling card or something to add in. Okay, now with this, I'm not going to worry about the bulk. But you see, we're going to go ahead and we're going to have a really pretty double pocket here. Okay, so let's go ahead, add the glue. So this was one of the things we did one of the Stash Buster Sundays was these double pocket. Okay, so you want to make sure you're going to be underneath your pocket. Go ahead and set it in there and you want to get it all the way over in the center. Go ahead and fold it so that it's folding down while you're while you're drying it. Okay. Pull it apart. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and we'll also glue these edges. So there we go. <clears throat> now this one, you can feel it. It does have, it does, it is more bulky because we added that center pocket. But now we have um, a place to add items in here. And this is going to be in the center of the signature, so that will hold that down. But there's if that. If you're here at the premiere, I'm waving. Hi. And uh, say hello to Wiley. Hi, Wiley. So I just wanted to remind you, if you're here at the premiere, that we have a live chat. You can join us by hitting that live chat button right down there. And come on over, say hello. We'd love to get to know you. 
Also, we have a free digital in the file section of the Dear Julie Julie Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie Facebook group. While we are home, safer at home. We do have a sale going on in the Etsy shop. All the spring kits are on sale, including St. Patrick's Day and the backgrounds um, digital kit. So do check that out. Um, I talked a little bit about the collab with Kara Brandon. The kits for that are on sale for 50% off. All of these kits are on sale for 50% off through March 19th. Let's get back to our program. Another thing that you can do is uh, you can go ahead and just have your page folded. That's, that's obviously something that you can do. Um, I do like the flip outs. And... Um, so let's see, okay, I have, if you had a, a piece like this, um, you could do like I've done with the, I usually do it with the lined paper and I already have them folded and ready. And so one of the things that I like to do is, so we'll figure out how wide we can be, and we can be a little wider than this. Let's grab our, our page. So if we go ahead and fold this down. Okay, so I'm, and we get nine inches. So let's go ahead and cut this down to nine inches. We're eight and a half one way, and now we're going to be nine this way. Okay. And then we'll be able to save that and use that for, for whatever. Okay, so um, grabbing our template paper and going over and going, okay, I can be that big. Okay. So I can go ahead and fold like this and that will give me another page that I can add into the journal. Now um, if I was to do that, we've got one more of these. I'm trying to just get rid of everything that is hanging around here. Hopefully it'll all fit in this journal, right? Hopefully. Okay, so there's that. So we cut it at nine inches, which is how tall my journal is going to be. Now this time I'm going to make it a little smaller. Okay. Okay, so what I can do with this is I can, um, let's, let's grab the, the other papers. Okay, so these are, these are some of the papers and I did already go through and get some signatures ready. So, this one has this piece that will come on here. And so maybe what we can do is go ahead and put this on the outside of this page, like this. And it could be a, a tuck here, okay? And you'd have a flip out, okay? So you'd have the tuck here, you could even cut it so that it was, a, you know, was actually a tuck. And that is something I'll figure out once I get it in to the journal. So that gives us that page. Um, I kind of like this for, 
like the front of, of a signature. And then I have some of the water embossed or coffee dyed embossed paper. And I have that, 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 that. This opens. There's that. I think maybe this one. Okay. Okay, and this is that, um, <laughs> it's the avocado dyed paper that I did the stacking and, um, I, so that they're interesting they're interesting papers but there's there's that okay so several ways to go ahead and use your 12 by 12 paper to um, to use it up and use it in your journal so we can use it on the inside cover like that and we're gonna do the same thing on this side we can uh, cut it up into little flip out pages. We can add a pocket. We can add flip out pages inside the journal like we did there. We can do our double pocket. Okay, so this is the flip out page. So here's the, what I was talking about, the, um, I like my lined paper to be horizontal. I like my lines to be horizontal. So I am going to decide whether to add this and make it a pocket, but you would still be able to continue to write across it. Or if I'm just going to leave it in there and let it be, um, a paper that you could write on. So I have, to, I haven't decided that. What do you think about that? And these are going to go right into the journal. And then we have our giant box of ephemera that we have made that we're going to be adding in here. So that is going to be interesting. <laughs> um, yeah. Who's excited about trying to figure that one out? Who's already done theirs and got got all their stuff in or didn't get all their stuff in I would love to know okay so we're going to be able to add tags in the pockets like just like that okay this one's going to be shorter so it will take up that space up there okay we have the stash buster Sunday playlist right up here and I will put one of the 12 by 12 paper pad videos up here also. I hope you enjoyed this video. Find something to celebrate every day. Have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.